Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And today, I am going to be giving y'all some tips on how to start your YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I stay consistent and what made me just jump back into YouTube. And this is what this video is for. I jumped back on YouTube because I just found the motivation and drive to start back making my videos. I started making my videos when I went off to college and the whole goal was to blow up then. Then y'all know I got pregnant, had Kaden, and that kind of put me in a kind of depression. I ain't even gonna say kind of. I was depressed for the first two and a half years. I ain't even gonna cap. But that's not the point. Now, I'm back. You know, at the postpartum depression and all that, I found that drive again and now it's just time to take out Get your YouTube account. Go ahead and make you a Google account, specifically one, for your YouTube or you can use the one that you already have but make sure that this YouTube account is the one that you want your channel name to be. Next up, a lot of people ask me like what kind of equipment do you use and really I'm real real basic. Like when I first started I was using my iPhone, yeah. the iPhone 6S, then I done used the iPhone 7, then I used this XR, then I used my what it's called the 11 but then i invested in a camera just because i had the money at the time and i was like yeah like i know when i get a large lump sum of money i want a camera like i've been really into cameras since middle school so it was just time for me to get a camera because i felt like if i got a camera then i would be more motivated to make the videos and here i am today giving y'all a whole bunch of content because I've been bought this expensive camera so we gotta put out our investments you know okay but one thing that I do highly 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 suggest is that you invest in your lighting if you don't do anything else invest in your lighting because you want your video quality to be top tier and your lighting is what's going to make it top here not the camera because you can really record off this little xr right here and your videos would be perfectly fine mine was if you go back you won't even be able to tell what camera i use but with this camera you definitely can tell it's not an iphone camera but you don't need a camera to make your youtube channel voiceovers videos or just any kind of like a lot of talking i highly suggest getting a microphone just so you can eliminate a lot of background noise but you don't need a microphone in the beginning starting out because obviously your camera has a microphone and your phone has a microphone so <laughs> invest in a tripod now i feel like this is a very good investment to make so you can make the different adjustments without your camera or phone being lopsided and you can get like a level view and you know it's just more stable as far as editing goes i use imovie i edit on my phone and i also edit on the macbook i don't even own a, a macbook but I have one that I use at work so that does come in handy but one day I do look to invest in a MacBook there are other softwares you can use on Windows but I've tried them and I really don't even like doing it I really love iMovie because it's so simple to use so easy to navigate and learn so I highly suggest using iMovie um not even gonna give y'all suggestions on windows just google that but i'm not the one for that <laughs> plan your content okay so in order to stay consistent you must plan your content that means 
come up with a general topic or not even just one topic that you want your YouTube channel to be based around, but kind of. Like you want to put out content that you know people want to watch, but also content that just says you. You want people to know like when they see you, these are kind of videos that you you make but in the beginning you want to put out a variety because you don't know exactly what everybody likes and when once you get consistent then youtube will tell you the videos that everybody likes when you look at the analytics and youtube studio will help you a lot like that's gonna be your best friend it tells you how many views you get how many watch hours um how many subscribers um, how often people watch your videos, all of that. So definitely, definitely use that to make your observations on what people like watching from you. And then that will help you plan your content. As far as planning ahead, you want to definitely um, make your videos ahead of time and not that same week that you want to drop or that same day that you want to drop because that's just too overwhelming you know you gotta create the video you gotta edit the video and you want to give yourself some time so definitely plan ahead and then that can also just keep you more consistent and focused you want to look for inspiration go to some people youtube channels that you really love that you've been watching for years the people that you know like they have a whole bunch of views they've been doing this for a really long time and kind of piggyback off of them you can copy them you know how many videos are here that's just the same like literally the same but put your own twist on it like i don't like watching literally like somebody who just look and sound like they just copied Aaliyah J or Diera, you know? So be different, but just take some of their ideas and put your little own twist on it. You can also find videos such as this to help you find content videos, like just go in on YouTube and type in video ideas and that can help you as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, from somebody that you already watch. And usually when you do that, then you find the best video ideas like that, like brand new videos you never even considered. And then once you put out that content, then other people are gonna be like, oh, this is a great idea. Like you got a good idea going. Let me use that. <laughs> you wanna make every second count you don't want to put out any videos that's just boring you want to edit your videos so that you know you're talking in every clip is not just nothing going on in the video because what's going to make your watch hours go up is people actually watching the video you know so in the beginning of that video make sure that you're showing the gist of what the video is about show a pre put your title make an intro i don't have a you know one of those fancy intros you know y'all know my intro that's all i need for now but one day i will you know branch out and make my intro i just haven't yet just because i'm still in a stage where i'm putting out a variety of videos so my niche is not just one thing but y'all know that i'm really into fashion and i think that's what my viewers want to see anyway so intro video coming real soon and also you want to build your social media platform meaning that you must share your videos to your followers you must be consistent on social media specifically instagram TikTok, twitter Facebook, all of it, all of it, share it. I don't care if you care about what Becky or Mike think, like, don't. If you're gonna be on YouTube, you can't care about what nobody thinks because the majority of your viewers are gonna be people that don't even know you. And those people, they gonna support you the most. The people who don't even know you. Y'all, the 
person who comment first on all my videos, I do not even know him. But he be there. Soon as I post, he be like, first comment, I loved your video. Like, okay. Okay. Like, just meeting new people from social media. Um, it's just really a supporting thing. It motivates you. It just keeps you going. You want to connect with your subscribers. You want to add your social media in the descriptions of all your videos. And speaking of description, add a really, really, really good description to all your videos. Because not only does the title, um, you know, the title help people find your videos, but also the descriptions, the tags, um, the location that you put on there. All of that. As much details as you can put in that description, add it. Everything you talk about in the video needs to be in that description. Because whether your video is a try-on haul, if you got on a headband wig and you know you're a brand ambassador for you nice, then go ahead and link that wig below. Because people really do be looking at it in that description. I know I do. I be like, oh, I like that hair she got. I wonder is that in the description if it's not I might see something else in the description box that I liked from the video or just being nosy and clicking on stuff and bam I bought something so always add your affiliate links anything pertaining to the video because that is helpful and even when you post like just random stuff in that description like I said it may be a try on haul video but somebody else who was looking for you nice hair, they might have typed in you nice black straight wig and then your try on video pop up, whether in the search bar or on a suggested video and then they click on that too. Like always add that extra information. It's really helpful. And you wanna upload regularly, whether you're posting once a week, twice a week twice a month make sure it's consistent i really do suggest posting once a week i try to put out two videos a week um because i'm seeing that the more consistent you are the more subscribers you're gonna get the more likes you're gonna get the more views you're gonna get the more watch hours you're gonna get so the more videos the better because your videos are an investment your videos is like the lottery like you never know the more videos you put out the more of a chance you have of blowing up on youtube so put out those videos and stay consistent look for music that is not copyrighted now in the beginning your channel is not going to be monetized so worrying about the music that is copyrighted like getting copyright claims won't really affect you but you want to avoid it at all costs but if you do get you know a little copyright claim it's cool because you ain't getting paid anyway but one way that you can get paid is just posting these brands posting 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 these brands i'm telling you because the smaller companies are looking at you the smaller companies are going to ask you like hey can you promote this product for a small fee or free products like is some people out there who be like oh i'm not working with a brand because they're not paying you have to start somewhere you're just a regular old samaritan out here these big companies are not going to be looking to just pay you like they're gonna give you their free product they want to see what you can do they want to see what you have to offer and then they will reach out to you with a better deal that's just how it works a lot of people be like oh don't let these companies run over you girl you're not being ran over at least they reached out if you did not put out these videos then they wouldn't notice you anyway so yeah duh and lastly my last tip is to ignore the negativity because nine times out of ten the people who being negative the people who not supporting you 
they're not even putting out content they not doing nothing really they probably they is hating let your haters be your motivators okay because the people who really support you are the people who are gonna uplift you and tell you to keep going they, them the people who gonna be liking and subscribing they'll be back i promise you and them haters once they see that you're making it to the top they see you climbing up they're gonna want to be more like you they're going to want to be more like you. And you're going to want to leave their ass behind when you get to the top. You're going to be looking back like, remember when you ain't, you was, you was talking mess. Like, you wasn't trying to support. You was trying to downplay what I had going on. You know, them folks would be like, oh, you still doing them little videos. Fuck them. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of this video. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.